What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here, and today we're gonna to be working on Project Zip Tie a little bit more. Today we're gonna to try to take this and match it on the other side of the Jeep. I didn't have any cardboard, so I'm gonna to try to use paper. I'm gonna to try to use that to take a template of what I have and transfer it to the other side and hopefully not screw it up. trim this out with some scissors and then we'll tape it up on the other side and see what we have. I made little index marks where the door is and on this side where the um, edge of the tub comes so I can hopefully line this template up on the other side. And of course I just realized now it's going to be reversed. So I think we got a template and time to start cutting. So the good thing about this is when I screw up this side, you're never gonna look at both sides at once. So I think we're in good shape. I think I got it lined up, the indexing mark on the opposite side lined up here and I was able to line up the spot over here. So now I'm just gonna take a Sharpie, transfer it onto the uh, Jeep itself and we'll start cutting. All right, so now I gotta take what I did on this side, match it up onto the other side, and let me show you how I did it. So basically on this side, um, I had already done the cut and fold like I did on the other side. Now what I need to do is take these little tabs and fold them back out, cut them off, and then I'm gonna take this lip here where it comes, meets up, and trim it a little so it doesn't get stuck in here and it actually goes up in, presses up in more to give me more wheel well room. And then I'm going to cut the pinch seam again like I did uh, on the other side up to this, this mark right here. And then fold that over. We'll have a bigger wheel well. I think I've got this to a good spot, cut off all those little uh, little pieces that were pinched over. And I think I got enough of a gap here. I'm gonna start using the clamps to push this against this other little frame piece here. And then uh, once I make sure I get it all good, I'll start drilling some holes, tack weld it into this spot, and then we can start cutting this fold it over and we'll have another open fender.
I got this all pinched and folded over. Looks good. Can get back far enough here. But you can see plenty of room for a 40 now. I still got to cut off this little nub that sticks out. This is where the filler neck was. Cut this off straight so it matches the other side. The other side I have to fix this right here because it's rusted. But then we can start forming the inner fender and the whole inner wheel well and start building new. Okay, so it's been a hot minute since I've actually made a part of this video. Uh, the last part you saw was me cutting and forming the other side of the rear inner fender. It's just been busy, super hot and muggy out, and I haven't got a whole lot done. I did manage to cut part of this uh, whole, I cut the other half of the rocker out. Hey, that's what I'm gonna be doing, cutting out the rockers and zip tie, and hopefully getting these rocker panels at least tacked in. Oh, as you can see, these rockers have definitely seen their better days. Rotten out. So plan is to cut along this line. That'll give me something to weld to. Yeah, so we're gonna get these cut out and then take the two by six rockers, clean them up and get them mounted in here. All right, so I roughly cut all the way across on this top part. Now I'm gonna have to go from underneath here and cut on the other side of this pinch seam, go all the way across, and then uh, should be able to drop it right down. this lip is a little not straight. I went through and it was difficult to cut with all the rust and figure out where straight was, but this lip is gonna be flat anyway. I'm gonna take the flap disc and grind it flat, get all the rust off, so we'll have a nice clean surface to weld to. Well, it decided to start raining out, so I can't work outside anymore, but I've gotten the majority of this uh, 2x6 rocker all cut out and everything. Now I just need to go ahead and clean up the rest of this, get it all fresh metal, cleaned up, ready to throw under here. I did a test fit, it seems to sit on there pretty well. Frustration is an understatement. Uh, I've just been really frustrated lately with the Jeep. Uh, I cut out the rocker panels like you guys saw, but I just had a lot of trouble getting the fitment right. Uh, I found out I had to actually notch part of the floor. I just been having trouble. I get one part to fit up right, the, the front part, and then the back part isn't lined up, and the support pieces don't quite line up, and then I drop the other part, and it's been super hot, muggy, and that just only adds to the frustrations. Hopefully I can get it accomplished soon. I miss putting out videos and editing videos and I just need to do more of it but when you get a roadblock like this and I mean I guess it's a positive thing because through this frustration and trial and effort that's how I'm going to learn and become a better builder, fabricator, whatever you want to call it. Um, maybe I should have just built this all from scratch but trying to save some money and reuse stuff it is what it is 
definitely come a long way from where it started. If you guys want to see where it started, click the link here. And as always, guys, stay bearded, stay cheapin'. I'm out.